Hey Lindenwood fans, welcome to This Week in Lindenwood Athletics for the week of November the 18th. And we probably should start with the number one team in all the country. Men's soccer, number one, the only undefeated team in men's soccer in all of Division II at 17-0-3. We don't know exactly where or exactly when they're going to play next. As of mid-afternoon on Monday the 18th of November, uh, we're just not sure. We know they'll play Fort Hayes. We know whoever wins that game is the regional champion. And we know that the winner of the Hayes LU game will go on to play the winner of Lewis versus Rockhurst. Beyond that, we don't know much yet. Time or where that game will be played. Stay tuned to LindenwoodAlliance.com though. As soon as that uh, is announced, it will be on there along with how you can follow the game, whether it be audio, video, or live stats. All that information will be on LindenwoodAlliance.com and we anticipate that it will be released sooner rather than later, but that is your uh, home for all the news on Lindenwood men's soccer, LindenwoodAlliance.com. Speaking of men's sports, how about basketball? They are 2-3 and three after getting two wins this past week. They beat Westminster in the home opener this past Wednesday, and then they beat Quincy 74-58 on Saturday. Dara Smith, the point guard, 25 points. Brad Soderberg told him after the game his best career game here at LU, at least offensively. Tyler Russell, 19 points on Wednesday, 14 on Saturday. So Tyler putting together a nice little run here the last couple games too. Rebound battle was won against Quincy by Lindenwood, 42-33 over the QU Hawks. The men will play next against Maryville, the St. Louis area rival, this coming Tuesday night at the Highland Arena. That game will be game two of a doubleheader. The women will open up their home schedule on this Tuesday as well as they'll host McKendry at 5 p.m. It's the first of a six-game homestand for women's basketball. The ladies coming off of defeat at Umsel this past Saturday, 70-58 to over in St. Louis. Borloo, Caroline Borloo, 18.6 rebounds in the losing effort. It was a good battle in the paint as the two teams combined for 58 points in the lane. Lindenwood had 30 of those by the way, as women's basketball fell at Umso. Men's wrestling competed at the Harold Nichols Cyclone Open in Ames, Iowa Saturday. Lots of Division I talent was there and one Lindenwood wrestler, Matt Cottis, had a very good day. He was fourth in his weight class and he pinned a Nebraska wrestler who last year was an NCAA Division I national qualifier. So congratulations and good work to Matt. All the wrestling team will be back here Saturday, November 23rd, 9 a.m. The third annual Joe Parisi Open gets going. A couple gyms, tons of mats, hundreds of wrestlers. You need to be here to check it out. Check LindenwoodAlliance.com for more information about the Joe Parisi Open. Women's volleyball closed the book on its regular season, 9-21, and 6-10 and 10 in the MIAA this past weekend. They lost on Friday 3-1 to one against Washburn and then they lost on Saturday on Senior Day, three sets to nothing against Emporia State. The Lady Lions finished tied seventh in the MIAA. That is two spots above where they were picked in the preseason, though, so a small victory for Ron Young and company as they close their regular season. Game of the week is that game against Fort Hayes for men's soccer again. LindenwoodLions.com for times and ways that you can follow it. As soon as the information is available, it'll be up online at LindenwoodLions.com. Athletes of the Week, Darius Smith, 25 points on Saturday, 14 on Wednesday. He's the Men's Athlete of the Week. And Jocelyn Slattery checks in from Women's Hockey. She is the Female Athlete of the Week here this week. For the week of November 18th, this has been This Week in Lindenwood Athletics. I'm your host, Brett McMillan.